Happy Tuesday, everybody. Big waves to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I want to tell you, I am absolutely uh, so appreciative of you jumping on. I don't take it for granted. I want to give a big special shout out to Andrea Rosser for always helping me with this. Andrea, thank you. Uh, she has to argue back and forth with me. Just so you know, Andrea Rosser's role is I ask her to argue with me, and then I get mad at her for arguing arguing with me. Does anybody ever do that with their spouse? Like, like you're like, listen, keep me on track, and then when they don't tell you what you want to hear, you get mad at them for it. So Andrea is kind of going back and forth with me, and and but she's she does a great job, and I appreciate appreciate her for that. Uh, coming up with all the stuff that she comes up with. So today, I want to set the tone for today, and I'm going to want some feedback in the chats, if you will, because today is going to be a challenge for me to present this to you, okay? So I got to have some grace from you, first of all. If I get a little tongue-tied or a little twisted in the way I lay this out, I'm going to try to – I'm going to try to – um Lay this out in a way that makes sense to you. Uh, I always say this, maybe it makes me feel better, but this chalk talk is interesting because you've got brand new people just joining the industry of network marketing. And then you've got people that have made millions of dollars in the industry and people from all ranges of from just getting started to millions of dollars. And you got to somehow bring in a teaching tool that is supposed to like involve everybody. So it's a little bit of a challenge, but this one is going to be hard today. And to be honest with you, I might lose some of you. Like some of you might go, you know what? I'm just going to click off this and hope it gets better in, in, in a week from now. And he comes up with a different topic. But a few weeks ago, and if I lose you, I understand. OK, do I think it would be very beneficial for you to stay the course? Absolutely. And I'll give away some things at the end that hopefully you'll win. But a few weeks ago, a lot of you um, wrote down income goals for where you wanted to be in May of 2023. And. Here's what's been on my mind traveling and, 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 and is, sadly enough, most of you won't get there. And that's hard. Like, that's, that's, that's so aggravating to me because I want everybody to win so much. But sadly enough, most of you will not get to your May 2023 goals, your income goals. And it just is like, ugh. I want everybody to get there. And this is why I said this is going to be hard. Because there's really one thing you need, no matter your age, no matter where you're at in the business, there's one thing you need to fix either you dying out on your journey over this coming year or you getting through your journey and actually achieving it. There's one thing you need, Andrea. Are we ready? I've already lost one person. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, so here's where I want to go with this, Andrea. I'll go ahead and let you go with the slide. And Andrea is going to go back and forth. If you might have to unmute some, Andrea. So let's give some examples. What, what's one thing we need to change to, 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 to be able to accomplish it? Andrea, go with me a little bit. Help me out here. All right. Well, I'm going to say the first thing I would say is work ethic. Work ethic. All right. Okay. Come and I'm on. looking in the chats to see if any have help, it. Help me Darryl out. Peterson. Can you so see Darryl this? Peterson Can you see my said, board? We Darryl can. Say? It's a little small, but just because the screen shared. But Daryl said habits. Habits. 
and I got to go find my chat again so I can see him again. Okay. So let's see if we got anything else on here. Attitude. Self belief. Okay, hold on, hold on just a second. Hold on just a second. Okay. Here, I'm gonna, so, I'm so, gonna get, I'm gonna stop sharing, and we're just gonna look at you so we can see you better. Okay. So you, I okay. got habits. What's, what's my other attitude? Attitude. Said attitude. Belief. Belief. Okay. Now, now nice. again, what is this? What is this? What is this? This is the one thing we need. One thing we need to not quit on our goal of 2023. Okay. Action. Okay. Action. Okay. Consistency. Consistency. Dedication. Oh, dedication. Come on Ooh, now. This is the good one. Courage. At least says courage. What's that? Courage. Courage. C O U R A G E. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm I got probably it. I saying got it. it I wrong. Got it. <laughs> courage. Okay. Your why. Oh, your why. Okay. Tenacity. Ooh, Nick, I might misspell that. Tenacity, all right. That's right, if you write small enough, it's no okay. will know. Um, mindset. All right, oh, what? Who said mindset? Well, we've had it a couple times. Robin, let's see. Um, write their names down if they said mindset. Oh gosh. We're, we're sending them a gift if, if, they, if they said mindset. Okay. Okay. So but 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 here's I'm gonna say them. battle battle. Okay, through fears. This is good. Okay, battle through fears. So, and Andrew, you just have to stop me and tell me. Okay, mindset, mindset, mindset. Okay. I want you to think about this because all of you are right. Let me go back to this. All of you are right. You got to have work ethic. You got to have habits, attitudes, beliefs, actions, consistency, dedication, courage, your why, tenacity, battle through fears. But we're talking about financial goal for 2023. Okay. And you go, why is this such a big deal? Let me kind of start it for you. See, I can do a course and I can teach you, okay, how to go through the pipeline. I can teach you how to go through the four bases, which is in essence the pipeline. I, I can teach you how to prospect somebody. I can teach you how to make a cold call. I can teach you how to like go out and do social media posts. I can teach you all this stuff, but you – but at the end of the day, if you don't have a vision for why you're doing it, like where you're going, we, you hear that? Apparently all in my office, all of the cars now, their horns are deciding to blow. So, okay. So here's the thing. You're not going to consistently do it. Like nobody gets in network marketing and is like, oh my goodness, I want to wake up and make 10 phone calls today just for the lovely feeling of how it feels to make 10 phone calls. No, you're doing it because you have an income goal that wants to, that's going to get you closer to where you want to go. And you've got a reasoning for doing it. You got a why for doing it. You got all this stuff. But at the end of the day, why does people not stay the course? in network marketing. Well, maybe you're not achieving your goals. Maybe you're not getting to where you want to get financially. Maybe Jim Rohn says this. Jim Rohn for years and years has said this all the way up to his death. It does not matter your age. In any five-year span, 
you can change your financial future. It might be from some people decide to do it from when they're 20 to 25. Some people from 25 to 30. Some people from 40 to 45. Some people from 50 to 55. 60 to 65. You know, there's some people that has gained massive wealth from literally 70 to 75. So it's 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 all about your focus and it's all about your mindset. So I think Andrea got kicked off. I'm back, but I'm on my okay. phone. My internet just turned off. So Okay, um, well, that's good. It's okay. Yeah, so it's okay. We're going to roll with it. So here's the thing. There's one thing you need in order to stay the course of all the way until May, 2023. And that is mindset. The first thing is mindset. And it's your mindset around money. Okay. Now, Andrea, if you get a slide, you can bring them back up. If you don't, it's okay. I think I'll be able to get close. Can you see that? Okay. We can see it. Great. And I will get, Okay, it's okay. I'm just getting my iPad so, set up. Right. Here's where I want to go with you. Your mindset around money. The first thing that I had for you in the slides is give me some um, negative. Arlene, if you could unmute. Give me some negative thought around money that you grew up listening to. Unmute. Okay. There I go. I couldn't unmute. Just, just one thing. One thing that you something negative around money you grew up listening to. Well, I I really don't deserve that kind of money. I'm not. Don't deserve. Ah, oh, don't deserve. Love it. Hey, Nick Pappas from South Africa. What's something you, you grew up listening to that was negative about money? Uh, the root of all evil. Oh, money, yes. Root to evil. Yes, money's the root to all evil. Money does not grow on trees. Yes, yeah, somebody put that. Uh, doesn't, <laughs> who, who heard that before? Doesn't grow on trees. So what that means is there's not enough money to go around. So don't come over here asking me for money because what do you think? It grows on trees, right? So, so it's a scarcity mindset. That's a scarcity mindset. So what's another one? Uh, hey, Hill Blue, what, what's one you heard growing up in Alabama? Give us a, Give us, give us a negative towards money. You're muted, Hill. I'm going to give you one. Money doesn't buy happiness. How many of you have heard that before? What's another one, Hill? What did you hear? Uh, that it that only the rich have it. Oh, only the rich have it. Thanks, Hill. Okay, so here's the thing: we could go on and on, and you can fill up the comments if you if you don't know. But but we're talking about mine. Rich gets richer, right? You had to grow up in that family to get what they got. Unfortunately for you, son, you were born into our family, right? <laughs> I mean, it can go on and on and on. Negative thoughts towards money. Because here, here's what most people want to talk about. And you go, Brent, what's this got to do with network marketing? What's this got to do with new age? What's this got to do with anything? I'm going to tell you at the end. But at the end of the day, in order for you, we can set goals all the time. We, I, I want to have my income go. I know where my gap is. May 2023, here's where I want to be. 
but I've got these limiting beliefs that money's bad, that money's scarce, that money's hard to earn, whatever it is. I've got these beliefs that I grew up listening to, right? We all did. We all read it. We heard it. We saw it like in different parts of the world. You just heard from Nick Pappas from South Africa, people around the United States. Okay. So I'm going to move. What if I told you right now, I love money. How many of you feel like I just scrape my fingers on a chalkboard? Like I love money. Yeah. That seemed negative to you? Like I love money. Coach, can I say something right here? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think this is so crazy. So Guys, what you don't know is that I was given specific direction on what to put on a slide. And I did create a slide that said, I love money. And guess what's not in this PowerPoint? Like, how crazy is that? I did listen, coach. I struggled to listen. I might have argued there, but I absolutely did. And it's not on there. So, so I, so I got to tell you, funny, behind the <laughs> scenes, behind the scenes of creating this chalk talk, because I really do take this serious. I, I value your time. You're giving up a portion of your day to be on here on Tuesdays. And I told Andrea, I said, I want, I love money. And Andrea argued, like, like didn't argue, but like, was like, well, I mean, we could change it. We could do this. And I said, no, I, I want to talk about, I love money. I'll never forget back years ago, I went to an Amway conference. I was 19 years old. And they literally got on the table at one of the events and saying, I want money, lots and lots of money. You remember the song? I want, you remember that song? Lots and lots of money. And at 19 years old, it was icky to me. It was like, ooh, ooh. And what I've realized is, is how are you looking at that statement? I love money. Because here's what I believe. You give an evil person, a bad person, a person that, of low integrity, a lot of money, and guess what they're going to do? They're going to use it for evilness. They're going to use it for not great things. They're going to use it to create more problems in the world. But you give people money that love money, that are good people, that have a good heart, that is high integrity driven, that wants to help the world, that wants to lead with love. And guess what they're going to do with that money? Listen, they're going to go be fruitful with it. They're going to go help people. They're going to go put it out there and let it be, let it have legs to crawl and help the world. So the fact, if you could in the comments, just let it go one time. I, I would I would have everybody unmute and just say, like, this is the point that you say, I love money. Because all of you are good people. You're good people. I love money. So Phil, I love money. 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 Love money. Love money. Let me say money. I'm letting it rain in your money. Money, money, money. I love money. I love money. I love money. More money. More money. More to give. More to have. There you go. Woo, I okay. Love I love money. Yes. <laughs> All right. Unmute. Hey, Andrea, you can mute now. Wow. Hey, no problem in this group loving money. That's awesome. That's awesome. So here's the thing. What would you do? What would you do in your community? Like, what would you do? Maybe, maybe Rick would buy six RVs. Like, I don't care what you would do, but I know the heart of you. What would you do 
with more money? What would you do if you achieved your goals of 2023? What would you do if you grew your income over the next five years to where financially you were set? You had more money. You have, you know, and, and, and here's where I want to go. Here's what good people would do. It's all about the mindset. One thing, good people, right? Good people, when their money is abundant, they would, what if, what if you showed up at your church, okay, or your congregation or your faith, and you heard them say, we're trying to do this and this and this and this. And they're up there and they're talking about it in church. And they're like, this or their congregation is like, but it's $25,000. And, and at the end of the service, you just smiled inside. And you took out your checkbook and you 25000 and you walked up. And you just dropped twenty five k into the plate. And said, I want to keep this unanimous, but go get it. Go get it. Anonymous. I'm sorry. Unanimous. Anonymous. Then you walk out. You walk out. How do you think you feel? You're walking on water. You're walking on water. Or let me give you another example. What if your kid got to go to college for the experience? Paid for, paid for, no problem, no problem. Daughter, son, I want you to go for the experience. I want you to feel it. I want you to enjoy it. I want you to be there for the experience of college for what it could be. I want you to see, right? I want you to take it in. I want you to have this experience. Give me, give me another one, Andrea. Maybe look at the comments. Like, like, what? For this right here, I love money. Why? Like, what, what What? would it be for you? Well, Peggy says she'd help her community in every way that she could find. You know what I told Andrea Rosser this morning? I said, money's no option for Andrea. It's no, she does not have to worry about it anymore. She's set. What would she do? I can promise you she would open up some kind of animal something to protect the world, to protect the animals of the world, no matter what, what they are. Like, like she would just do it because that's her love. That's, that's what she wants to do. That's her Maserati. Maybe it's a Maserati for you. I don't know. Okay. What? So Tide Moore, Nick said that he would buy Facebook. Nick would buy, I love it, Facebook. And, and I can guess that Nick would buy Facebook so he could make it right, make it like it should be. <laughs> All right. Do you but here's the thing. Or, yeah, yeah, let's read okay. some. I, 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 so Sarah says, donate money to a foundation to send children to school. Ooh, send children Some of these to are going to okay. make me cry. So I might not be able to read them, but I'll do my best. Um, give parents the best care and experiences for the rest of their lives. Oh my goodness. That's a yes. doozy. I, I, I probably got enough room to write parents. Could you imagine <laughs> showing up? You know, some of you have your parents still, some of you don't, but could you imagine when they were living, if you could, if you, you show up and, 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 and you give them both a car that may be across the front that says, I love you, mom. I love you, dad. Like, like this is, this is for all your heartburns of raising me as a kid, you know? Um, what is it? Like, like, what is it for you? And some of you are crying right now because it, 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 it hits your heartstrings. But see, this is the mindset people never go to. They, they get told how to prospect. They get told how to do network marketing, you know, and they get told and you got to hang around to the end. But it's like, why? Like, what, what's the mindset behind this? Because like, like we don't want to tell people what we do because we're afraid that, that they're going to think we're trying to earn money off of products because we're so greedy for the money 
because money's the root to all evil and money's got we don't deserve it and 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 money doesn't grow on trees so why are we getting our friends to buy products from us and all this stuff when in reality we're selling products tell me a business that's not selling products or services to the world <laughs> you're in education got to have textbooks got to have technology like somebody's selling that stuff you're in a hospital somebody's selling to the hospital you're like like sales make the world go around we can't survive without it. but yet we're we're like oh i can't tell nobody because i mean they're gonna think i'm trying to make money off of... i love money everybody loves money they just don't want to admit it because they've been told this they've been told this all their life this negative stuff about money when in reality money does all this you know but do we ever get to the mindset? Do we ever actually truly think about it? Or we do, am I just 46 years old, just meanly, just kind of meandering through the world, not really taking, really thinking, diving into it, really thinking about it? I think most people never think about it. They never go to their mindset and start thinking about money and why I want it. Why I want it. And so if you never think about it, when the going gets tough, you just quit. When you don't want to make that call and that you just don't make it because there's there, there, there's nothing that makes you cry. Because odds are we cry because we've missed out of opportunities to give because the money wasn't there. Right? That's what's hard. That's why I said this is going to be hard. I've had times in my life where I didn't give because I didn't have any money to give. I couldn't help. My, my hands were tied. I didn't have it, but they were not tied. I just never got my mindset around money at an early age. I didn't get my mindset around money until a decade ago. The wealth that I've created or that we've created in the last 10 years, it's been in the last 10 years. Why didn't I do it in my 20s? I just didn't. But see, some people, they didn't do it in their 40s. And for some people, they're in their 50s. It's like, but Jim Rohn said, you just pick the five years. If you'll focus on your mindset, you can create the wealth you want to create in a five-year period. It's your decision. And it goes back to this. It's the three C's of life. Choices, chances, and changes. You must make a choice to take a chance or your next five years of your life will never change. So you've got to make a choice and you got to take some chances so that the next five years you do change your life financially. And that's where I have a passion right now because we have, and Andrea, help me right here. So did this add value? Does it, does, does this make sense? If you can focus on the mindset, Maybe unmute Andrea. You got anything you I'm want unmuted. to add? No, you I listen found to that my was crazy great. thoughts today. <laughs> I think it's powerful. So, if I've got this, then we can kind of move to the next section, which is go ahead, Andrea. How to create the financial reality we want. Please take a, well, we'll come back to this in a minute. Self-assessment. Here's what I want to tell you. You will, you, this is where I'll lose some of you because you won't do it. You, you just won't do it for whatever reason. Not, not worth your time. See, here, here, here's what happens to us. And I'm going to use Andrea for example right now because she, she's okay with it. Andrea can be really good at her to-do list. 
She can be really good at being task oriented. She can be really good at focusing and reading and doing all the things, but she don't have time to actually take a snapshot of her self-assessment of herself. She ain't got time for that. See, sometimes we're so good at our profession, we don't have time to fool with the finances. Do you know I know people that have made literally tens of millions of dollars and I've had conversations with them and true actual savings, they hadn't saved a quarter of a million dollars. I know a person, I never say their name obviously, but I know a person that has made over $30 million in the last 20 years and they have not saved over a quarter of a million of the 30. Because this person is such a giver. This person is so focused. This person is so good at what they do that they never take the time or the hours or the time to do a self-assessment of their own finances. How can you get to where you want to go? How can you get, like, like you go, I want, a, I, I want an income of this in May 2023. You first got to work on the mindset of, 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 of what you're going to do. Like, 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 why is it such a big deal to you? Why do you love money so much that you want to get there? But then you got to look at where you're at. And so the self-assessment that, that to me is – it's, it's like a snapshot of where you're at today. But if here's the deal. Is there anybody today? It's, it's today's where you're, is there anybody on here that's like, you know what? I have nothing more to achieve. I have achieved it all financially. I would say nobody's going to pop in the comments and go, yep, that's me. I'm there. I, I have achieved it all. But here's the thing. So many times we're not where we want to be, so we don't want to do the assessment. And either you got a mentor or you're going to just trial and error your way through it. I would highly recommend you find a mentor. You find somebody it doesn't have to be older than you, could be younger than you, could be the same age as you, could be a book, an author but you find a mentor. Maybe it's Robert Kiyosaki. Maybe it's Jim Rohn. Maybe it's that, that you study. Maybe, maybe it's uh, Grant Cardone. Maybe it's Tony Rock. I don't know who they are, but you find a mentor that doesn't necessarily say, hey, Andrea, this is the stock symbol on the NASDAQ. Go invest in this. Like, isn't that what we all want? Just a home run? Just, to, I don't want to do the work. Like, just tell me what to go do. Right? Just tell me what to go do. See, what I'm telling you today is how you can control your mindset and your movement towards this. Okay? Rich dad, poor dad. That's right. But you either got to find a mentor or mentors or you got to do it through trial and error. And I would highly recommend not doing it through trial and error. <laughs> Go find a mentor. That, that, and here's what my mentor taught me. Brent, no matter where you're at, take an assessment of yourself. Ten, a decade ago, I didn't take no assessment. I didn't want to know. Here's where I was at 10 years ago. Trial and error is expensive. That's right. Here's where I was 10 years ago. I was struggling putting gas in my car to go be a principal of a high school 12 years ago. Gas prices were crazy. You think that's the way it is today? Hey, I got to tell you a crazy. Yesterday, I go fill two c up to go to our lake home, it's over 
$300. You tell me in the world we're living where that, that makes sense. $300. Like, you think I, when I was a coach, you think I was going to go to the, no, I would have been eating cheese puffs back on the couch. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have went to the lake. So I, so I didn't do a self-assessment because I didn't like where I was at. Doesn't matter. Here's what my mentor taught me. I got to know where I'm at. I got to know where I'm at. The biggest thing you could be doing to hurt yourself right now is not know where you're at. So if you don't know where you're at, here's where I said, I'm going to lose some of you. Some of you's not going to do it. And you probably won't get to your income goals. It ain't probably. You won't get to your income goals May 2023 because you won't do the things you need to do to get there. So self-assessment is what, what's your cash on hand right now? Like, seriously. Like, you don't, I don't want this in the comments, but, but, but here's the thing. Would you be embarrassed? That's probably why you're not doing it. So cash on hand. That means where you can tangibly go grab it right now today, or it's like in cash form, however, cash on hand. You know, assets. <laughs> cars are not assets. Not not you drive drive around workable cars, right? Like just, but but assets, true assets, land, properties paid for. Like, what are your assets? Li actually listing them out, okay? Listing out your assets. What are they? Okay. Tell me some more. Tell me a self-assessment. What would be some more? Put them in the comments. Like, like this is things that, this is the first thing. Like, I got to take an assessment for myself. Okay. Andrea says monthly bills. Like, that's right. Monthly bills. Because at the end of the day, here, here's the quadrant, okay? Maybe Andrea put this in the comments. Here's the quadrant. I've got to make money to provide a lifestyle for myself, okay? So I got to make money to pay the bills, whatever those bills are in your home. You got to you got to figure out the monthly bills, but whatever they are, I got to make enough money to provide that. And then anything above that, I'm going to save. I'm going to pull back and save. And my ultimate goal is to save enough to then turn and invest in assets that can create another income stream, okay? The problem is, and me and Andrea was talking about this today, the problem is, is people, here, here's what people go. They, they look at their monthly bills and they go, okay, kids, okay, kids, we're not going to drink a... a, a, a when we go out to eat, we're not going to drink uh, a Coke. We're going to drink water. So we're each going to save $3. We're going to total of $9 saved going out to eat. Yay, yay, we save $9. But before I get home, I stop and get two cartons of cigarettes. It's like, no, you, you, you're, you're, you're robbing from here to pay this. Like, like you, you're going to cut your monthly bills as much as you can and any savings goes over here and you invest, you find ways to invest. The problem is, is people don't want to invest a uh, hundred dollars. They keep telling their self, well, when I get $10,000, I'll invest. Wrong answer. Invest the hundred. Invest the hundred. Okay. Don't wait till you get 10,000 because what do you do? You end up spending that hundred and you never get to the 10,000. Is that, do you see value in that? You see what I'm saying here? So I'm taking this assessment to figure out, okay, what's my cash on hand? What's the assets do I truly got? And if I've made a lot of money and I don't have the assets that I probably should have, it's okay. You're learning the lesson right now. Like you're learning it right now. It's okay. I wished I would have learned it when I was 20, but I didn't. I waited till I was 36. 
So that's, that's just the way it was. So self-assessment. Anybody else, Andrea, you see any? So we talked about adding on their debt and then tithes. Okay, yeah. So so giving, uh, go, go ahead. Just keep talking. I, I'll quit writing. So tithing, well, that, that's, might, so, that might be fall into your self-assessment. That's right. I, I student would consider loans, that a monthly bill. It. Yeah, monthly bills would be student loans. Tithing, not that I consider tithing a bill, like it's not a negative thing, but it, it does mm -hmm. fall into the monthly, what I need to live off of, okay? And then I think the last thing on there would be your your debt. Yeah, debt, like anything you owe, homes, cars, anything. Yeah, debt, debt would definitely fall in there. And I would have this visibly in front of me because because we as humans need to win, right? So as I bring my debt ratio down, I need to visibly see the debt coming down. So I can go, oh, way to go, Brent. I'm going to go out. I'm going to have a steak dinner off this debt, that this credit card I just tore up, or or this, 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 uh, you know, I dropped my debt. I, hey, I, I want to celebrate investing i just hit the thousand dollar mark on my investments then the two thousand then the three thousand then the four thousand and the biggest thing i get into with people is there's some people you're just never going to you somebody's going to say well i'm too old to invest uh don't say that because there's investments right now out there that if you studied them could possibly be paying, I'm not telling you this, don't call me and ask me for the investment, but there's crazy things out there that maybe $100,000 is an investment, would it be high risk possibly, but it could be earning in essence like $10,000 a month. I've got an investment right now, $100,000 in, in, in a real estate deal, it's overseas, it's in another country, and the return on it's $1,800 a month. So my point being is, is I don't have it all figured out. I'm learning, but don't be the person that says, well, I'm, you know, I'm at the age where there's no investments for me. Yes, there is. You just got to open your mindset towards it and go, okay, what's out there? What's possible? Andrea, how many people have we talked to over the last year of you working with me on investments? Some we've done, some we hadn't. Uh, hundreds. I'm, I'm constantly in an investment group <laughs> because I realize that, that I want to leave something, like I want to leave something significant to, to the people I care most about. Like I want to leave, I truly want to leave a legacy, but I got to start. Like I got to get, I got to get right. I got to get my mindset right. I got to get my strategic thinking right. And it starts with a self-assessment. So that's number one, is do a self-assessment. Okay, let's pull the next one. We're running out of time. I'm going to keep going back to, I might lose some of you, <laughs> because it might be like, this is not a fun topic. Um, knowledge of and belief in the industry. Can I ask you a question? A true, honest assessment. And it's either put yes or no in the comments, okay? Have you ever Googled the power of network marketing? Like, like here, here's what I mean by that. Either put yes or no, okay? Don't, don't be scared to put no. The Googled the power. Now, Google is a, what would you do right now if I said, Gave you a word you didn't know of. What would you do? If I said, what's Ashwagandha? And you're like, first of all, tell me how to spell it. Next thing I'm going to do is what? Google. I'm going to Google it. Okay. So most people in network marketing has never Googled the power of network marketing. 
So that they're in a profession that somebody like a Tracy Turnberg has been in his whole life, his whole adult career. It has afforded him to travel the world. It's afforded him a lifestyle that most people would dream of having. But yet we get in here, we work. Some, most of you have made money in the industry, whether it be $5 or $10,000, but you've never actually Googled the power of it. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you, if you went to school for four years to be an educator, do you think you would know what education really was? Do you think you'd Google that? Do, do you think you would study that? Do you think you would know? So we go, again, we're going mindset here. Like, uh, oh, my broke cousin told me this industry doesn't work. So I'm going to believe my broke cousin. Well, why do you believe your broke cousin? Because you've never studied the industry. Like, you don't know. So your cousin must be right, <laughs> right? It must be a scam. It must be one of those illegal pyramids, like, because you don't know, but I want to show you. We'll pull this up. I want you to read this with me. This is so, super important. Here's the next lesson for today is Google the power of network marketing and actually look at it. Look at it. So I drew, I drew this up. Um, can you go out? Anyway, pull pull that out. That's too much, Andrew, right there. I want I want to so I, I want to read you what I got. That's okay, Andrew. So I got it right here. Andrew, read just read from your screen a couple of them, please. Oh, okay. You know I'm horrible at reading out loud, but okay, network marketing can produce produce outstanding results if you know how to harness its awesome power to secure your business success. Um, network marketing, so MLM. Tell me what it says about leverage. So leverage time and money. Okay. Two, creates residual income. Okay, so, so time and money, time and money. It talks about that talks about residual income. So what do I do in real estate? I try to create residual income. Okay, what what does that work marketing? What does it have the potential to create residual income? What's the next one? Um, that you can have geometric growth through duplication. Duplication. Duplication, okay. Okay. And then now, I'm scrolling. Uh, no, it's okay. Here's what I want to tell people. Network marketing. Go Google the power of network marketing because you have the tool in your hand. But but the problem is, is people don't get their mindset right enough to know this right here is no, like this right here is a tool to go create wealth, wealth, wealth. That'll create time and money freedom. It'll create residual income that if done right will pay you over and over and over and over again. I'm going to go back to Tracy Turnberg. He's getting paid off business that he wrote 20 years ago. That's cool. That's what we want, right? It's kind of like that's kind of like rental properties that you buy, you pay for, and then it pays you over and over and over for renting them out year after year after year after year. Same way with products. When people run out, they reorder and you get paid over and over and over and over and over and over and over again right? Creating residual income. But then when you get really good at creating duplication, what is duplication? Andrea, I'm going to zoom back out. Here's what duplication is. Duplication is when you learn that Brent Palmer knows what he knows. But if Brent Palmer will go teach Andrea to know what I know, then I just duplicated myself I want. And then if me and Andrea go teach two more that's in my downline to know what we know, and now they know what we know, we just duplicated our stuff. Now we got four people. Now I just grew from me to four. And then we go help those four 
you get my point. Geometric growth of, of that. So if you really want to know network marketing, the art, here's the art. The art is this. The art is duplication. Okay. Is it easy? No. Is there, if you go create and, and figure out the art for teaching duplication, meaning you duplicate yourself by one and then by four, by, by teaching a skill, teaching a system, teaching something, now you've tapped into something that has turned into the penny a day philosophy. Do you realize a penny a day doubled at the end of 30 days is over $5 million? Go do the math. Double a penny a day for the next 30 days. Math, math, go, go type that out. It's over $5 million if you do the math. Because of geometric growth. Okay? That's what geometric growth is. Hope that makes sense. Um, but I got to know the value. So, so here's the homework assignment. <laughs> and this is where I'll lose some of you. Go look at network marketing as a tool for driving revenue. It's powerful, powerful. That's why you're going to make the phone calls today. That's why you're going to prospect the person down the street. That's why when the 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 stock guy that stocking shelves at Walmart's doing a good job, and you recognize you're like I could use that type of person on my team. You go prospect because you understand that if you bring him in the fold, it's going to create money opportunities from for you it's going to create residual income for you but then you're going to teach that person the art of network marketing which is going to create geometric growth for you how much did it cost you to do it just your time and you now increase your income you increase your residual you increase your wealth so what the last piece is, what would you do with wealth? What would you do with wealth? Like, I'm talking about what would you do with wealth that, that you're, you're paying your bills, you've got your cars, you got everything you need to live, you've got a diversification in investments, now, what are you going to go do? A lot of you have already said today what you're going to do with your wealth. Can you see, think about your parents. Like, think about what it's going to be like. Thanks, Andrew, for that. Let's, let's zoom out on everybody, if you don't mind. Think about this. Here's what that is. When I say, what do you do with wealth? And I'm going to sum this up. We're going to end this today. What does it look like? What does it smell like? What does it act like? What does it taste like? Like, like put yourself there. You're wealthy. You've done it. What are you doing out there in your community? What are you doing in your church? What are you doing for your kids? What are you doing for your parents? Like, feel it. Feel it. Because you can't be an entrepreneur. You can't be somebody that's going to go attack and get to May 2023 and get to your financial goals if you can't feel it before it happens, if you can't see it before it happens. So here's the thing. It's kind of like, it's kind of like building this high rise hotel. You went and you worked to create this. You got the, you got the loan, you got the money. And as you're building it, you can see it. You can see the rooms being done. You can see what the carpet looks like. You can actually feel it on your feet, barefoot, walking through the carpet and feeling how that feels on your feet. Like you can smell the new of those hotel rooms. You, you, you've got it all laid out. You can see the flowers, the beautiful cut flowers, the door, the doorman, the bellman opening the door for the people coming in. Like you you got to put yourself there before it ever happens. That's what you got to do with wealth. See, being broke is a temporary state if you've got the mindset 
to take you to a different place. Poor is a whole different concept. Being poor-minded is somebody that is, is in a defeated place. My family was poor. We've always been poor. We're just going to be poor. Bad things happen to us. That's what it sounds like to be poor-minded. But a broke-minded person, it's just a broke person. It's a state of being. Maybe they're not winning right now, but they're going to win. Their posture is winning. Their shoulders are back. Their chest is out. They're just going through a season, but they know they'll come out of that season because of their hard work, their mindset, their desire, right? You, you, you got to have that mindset about you. And so to sum it all up, the reason for today is I want you to do some things for yourself because I believe first you got to have a snapshot of where you're at today in the world. Like, what does it look like? Where are you at? And then second, I think you've got to have a, a knowledge and a belief and an understanding that our industry is a powerful tool that, the, that a lot of wealthy people see it, they understand it, and they know it's super powerful. And then you got to be able to visually see where you're going with this money you're going to make, this I love money concept because of why. How does it look? How does it feel? What are you doing in the world when you've achieved it? And when you get all those three things down, now I can go make those calls. Now I can go, you know, I'm not saying wait. I'm not saying wait on the calls wait on this but i'm saying these three things will help drive you through the course of this year as you're going after it does that add value do you see hopefully this this was a challenge for me today but but one that was on my heart to kind of finish through because i i, I said with this this chalk talk i wanted it to be more than just the how to just oh here's how you do network marketing I want it to be, I want people to take network marketing and use that cash cow to go create other cash cow opportunities, to create other financial opportunities, and, 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 and just to thrive more, use this to thrive more. Um, I'm going to leave you with this as we close. Hope you got value. Tonight, 7 p.m., Central Time Zone. There's going to be a special call. We'll put the spe hopefully we can put the call with Christine McKay in the comments. It's also on New Age Nation. It's also on New Age Communication on on uh, Telegram. You want your entire team on that call tonight with Christine McKay in North America. If you're in North America, I know we we have people all over the world on this call. Uh, North America, 7 p.m. Central Time Zone tonight. Also tonight at 7.30, right after Christine McKay's, and this is in New Age Nation, also in Telegram, there's going to be a female-only call for Renew, and there's going to be a male-only call for Renew, and you can add guests to that call, okay? Um, that will be happening, and, and those flyers are going around. Also, I want to remind everybody about the Renew 28-Day Challenge testimony videos that are up. Tracy Turnberg, thank you so much for, for doing that to help us all. Um, but those, if you go to YouTube, you can subscribe to Renew 28 Day or Renew 28 and the testimonies are up there. Use these testimonies. Send them out via text. Like, talk to people. As you're telling them about Renew, oh, I got this, I, I got somebody that I really would relate to you, kind of y'all have the same occupation. I'm going to send you Sonia Enfinger, her, her testimony, or Andrea Rosser's testimony, or Tracy Turnberg's testimony. It doesn't matter. Like, use these testimonies to drive your business. That's why he created it. And then the last is the I, we created newage365.com, the videos that are in there. I'm going to say this again. They're as recent as our company has made. So we are in the process of creating new videos. 
and those new videos will be added and, and replace the old videos on New Age 365. But there is a method to the madness of the way we laid everything out in the fact that I want the video of who we are to be the first video in that 365. So there's going to be a video produced that, that replaces that video. Same thing with Deanna doing a no compromise. But if you have not been to New Age 365, go check it out. It's there for you. It's, it, it doesn't link it back to anybody. It's there for you to use as you see fit for your prospecting needs. Um, and so if it's something that can benefit you and some, something that can help you, that's why we uh, spent the money to create the page. So um, I know I've gotten a lot of feedback. And I've gotten some people that's feedback on well, when are you going to change the video. We're in the process of that. So uh, just hang in there, butterfly. We'll get it done. So any any uh, any questions? Anything you got? Love you guys, and I'm super grateful for you. Hope you got got some value from this today. Hard topic, but definitely one that if you do it, you will gain uh, so much. From. So uh, hope you all have a great day. See you back next Tuesday. See you on the call tonight. Build for this event. Thank you, Brent. Be a special great job today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, you. Thank 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 you. Thank